part of those objections or those projections. You know, uh, Nielsen that does the all the all those things. Uh, they do they do surveys. They all of a sudden switched around and they were constantly hounding their people that were calling and they were constantly just chastising them. And all of a sudden they turned the tables and they started finding ways to stretch the goals to motivate their employees and to encourage their employees. They decided to take and put the whips away and make it to where it's a more fun environment. And instead of discouraging employees, find a, a motivational technique because they are going through as much as you are and you own the company. It's true. Now, let me ask you this. I want you to, um, I know you mentioned a little bit of the positive nature of people, how they look to light at mm-hmm. the end of the t- tunnel and all that stuff. How can one incorporate adaptability into their business? Like, obviously, you know, positive outlook's going to be good, but what else can you do to make sure that you're going to be set up for this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think uh, my, hus- my husband and I had this conversation this morning, um, believe it or not, or actually it was dinner last night. Because we have a good friend going through a lot and has been for since his first marriage, but he has the most unbelievable positive attitude. And although he goes through all these tribulations and these these things in his life, he has a he has a beautiful, beautiful positive attitude. You can say, poor me, every day, and your business keeps going down, or you can get up in the morning and say, I have another day I can work on my business. There's another day that I can find something new that I can do, whether it's through research or even, you know, spending time with one of your customers, something that gives you optimism optimism comes from your heart it doesn't come from your surroundings because there's a lot of pessimism in this world and you can't we can't get around it so you have to find you have to find that optimism out there you know i i am blessed that i work with optimistic people i have you joe that i work with very closely Um, with Florida Fabulous 50 and Suncoast, Jeff Sassano is a very positive person. He he never says anything negative. Okay, I'll take that back. 98% of the time, he's positive. 2% of the time, he's negative. I think we all have a neg I think we all have a negative streak here and there, but we always look to the positive. We do. We do. And, um, you know, it's whether you want to get up and be negative that morning and have a terrible day or do you want to get up and look at it and even if you're having a bad day, go in and be nice to somebody. So, you know, I have, I have to ask you this I, as we're going a little off topic here, but there there was a uh, the three R's I want to talk to you about. What are the yep. three R's there uh, that you were mentioning to me earlier? which was respond, oh. recover, renew. Respond, recover, and renew. I'll just switch pages. Um, as you know, at any, in any type of um, situation, you're going to have, you're going to shift your thoughts from um, responding to the situation. Charlie, let's use that as an example. Everybody responded after Charlie. Everybody went in and started cleaning up. And then you start on recovery. Well, recovery is just as important. And then renew. So you've got three different aspects. Um, The decisions that leaders, the 
the, the, that they make lead them to a renewed future state. So it depend, it, it really it comes down from the top. It really does, whether you're a one one man operation or whether you're a, a thousand person operation, everything comes down from the top. So the leader the leader needs to start that response and recovery and renew because that renew is the future state of their business. Um, for the pandemic, for example, uh, Pandemic response in three phases. It was done in three phases. The duration of each phase will vary by country, industry, and enterprise. Now, we've been very blessed that we have not had the um, the catastrophic illnesses here in the United States. Even by business unit, product, or service. So, but we have all been affected by that. And the phases are defined primarily by what's happening in each stage. So it's whether you're in the response stage, are you still trying to respond to the COVID shutdown? Or are you decided that you're in that recovery stage and you're trying to recover? A lot of the businesses are in recovery stage here, here in, in this county. They're all doing what they can to recover. And that's the most important on that. Um, let's see, what was the, my next one? To um, renew. To renew. Well, there's more on respond. Oh. The respond, it, it takes a high effort. Let's see. There's the relatively short period of response is marked by high effort and potentially chaotic activity. Key activity, temporary fixes to stop the bleeding. How many people out there, you business owners, actually are still trying to, to stop the bleeding? Because if you're still trying to stop the bleeding, then you haven't even really addressed your weaknesses that can stop that so you can move forward. So that it, it, that's an important aspect of that. Um, to recover, creating a plan to restore a scalable state or a scalable business. You know, you need to restore that. Identify the capabilities you need to strengthen Factor, reopen, rehire, rebudget, and resupply. I mean, if you are not in that stage and you're still bleeding, then you need you need business advice, plain and simple. You need somebody to come in and kind of give you a little bit of reality and say, okay, let's figure this out and find out what we can do to get you stop bleeding and we can go into these other steps, which is trying to strengthen you. Uh, renew uh, extended period marked by by um, strategy durable ex execution across the organization the key activities there's key activities learn to conduct operations uh, processes and workflow flows in new reputable a uh, repeatable I'm sorry not uh, repeatable scalable ways so Part of the renew is is having that strategy to learn how and and to to conduct operations differently. Uh, the one thing that I think we talked about the last time I was on is how small businesses were giving back to the community, what they were doing in their communities to give back, even though they were bleeding, they were still giving back. That's true. That's but. gonna that's gonna be a make a big difference in and how they move forward because people identify those people that helped them. Yep, and I so. totally agree with you, Lisa. But I do have to cut us short because we are coming down on time. So I would like to okay. let you give the ability to let people get a hold of you to learn more about what's going to happen okay. in 2021. Okay. Well, you can always email me at Jazzy Dogs. 
That's J A Z Z Y Dogs D O G S Publishing at Gmail dot com. Uh, being able to write your questions down and your thoughts, putting it in that matter would really be helpful for me because then I can help you know help you do some of that research and um, give you those answers. Um, you know, we're all in it together. Okay. Did you want to? And did you want to give your phone number as well? Well, I can. My telephone number is nine four one seven two six zero three four three. Awesome. Well, thank you again for being a guest on Socially Joe, and I cannot wait to have you again. Okay. Me too. If I'm right. gonna do the. I'm going to do your other one, too. <laughs> I, I can't wait to have you on your show, and I'm telling my uh, producer about that. But we'll talk soon. Take care. Okay. Okay, thanks. Have a great day, everybody. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.